What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, my fighters? I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT. I don't know if I'm waking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead Season 11 Part C, the final eight episodes. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. Now, are you ready for the final episodes? Whether you like it or not, the Walking Dead main show is ending this year, but we're going to have spinoffs and more spinoffs and spinoffs of spinoffs. So it's not going to feel like a true ending, in my opinion, but we'll have to see how it plays out. Now, we do know the news about Daryl's show and Maggie and Negan's show and the Rick and Michonne show, and then where it goes from there should be interesting. But who actually makes it? Obviously, the big four. Well, Carol and Daryl were supposed to have a show together, and I've seen a lot of crazy questions like, do you think Carol dies now? How about dog? How about this? How about that? I think everyone's safe there. Now, what for the minor characters or the smaller characters or their B or C grade characters, whatever you want to give them, not the main characters. We, like I said, Daryl's going to have his own show. He goes to Europe. France specifically is the word. Is it going to fit? Is it not? Not sure what's going to happen there. I personally would love to see a Tales of the Walking Dead of more of the Commonwealth stuff or maybe a couple webisodes or something, six episodes or three episodes of the Commonwealth. It would be pretty cool. How about Carol? She is Queen Carol. She's got to live. She's got to make it to the end of the series and then carry on for a potential Daryl and Carol show. But how about characters like Aaron? How about characters like Rosita? How about smaller characters? Like, could Aaron die? Will we lose some people? I would assume we gotta lose some people, but Eugene, Max, Mercer, people like that could come and go, but what's the future hold? Will it feel like a true ending? I would also love to see a Mercer episode of Tales of the Walking Dead, and it would be pretty cool to see what he was like before the Commonwealth or him arriving at the Commonwealth. And if we put ideas out there, maybe AMC and the Walking Dead universe can do it. But Mercer is probably going to flip sides, switch sides to be against the Commonwealth. Now, I also noticed in this key art here, Maggie is the person in front, not Daryl. And I mean, it would be Rick if he was there. But then we see our group going towards the Commonwealth. I would assume that Lance Hornsby is the person leading the Commonwealth group against our group, which makes sense. I kind of want to know what happens with Oceanside because of where 11B left off and the flip of the coin. I would assume half, if not, you know, a decent portion would still be alive. And now the tagline or phrase, we finish the fight. Like, it just seems weird to me. Like, yeah, you're going to finish it because it's the end. Whether you like it or not, it's the final eight episodes. But is it really a fight with the Commonwealth? I mean, it is, but it isn't, and there has to be some sort of tagline, but you know, it's just kind of weird for me. What do you think of it? The Walking Dead, the last episodes, October 2nd, AMC and AMC+. Plus. I love the art right here. It's a good shot of all the remaining characters, but truthfully, I love this art that was fan-made, I believe, photo credit to that person, is all the characters, or the main characters at least, from the show and the series, and I love this poster idea right here. Hopefully this is a poster for you guys to buy because it's pretty awesome and amazing for sure. Now, we have an early trailer breakdown of the trailer that we saw way back when at Comic-Con in July, and um, it's pretty cool. I'm excited to see where it goes, but I don't know if it's gonna feel like a true ending, like I said, because of all the different spinoffs. You know, we have the final eight episodes of The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead is still out there, Tales of the Walking Dead, which looks to be its own crazy, weird stuff going on there, Isle of the Dead is called something else, the Daryl spinoff, and the Rick and Michonne show. Now, for those who don't know, Isle of the Dead is not the name of the show anymore. It's called The Walking Dead, Dead City. I personally like the idea of Isle of the Walking Dead. You should have just done that, in my opinion. And maybe they still do. They could still change it because they haven't really released anything just yet. But are you ready for the final eight episodes? Ready or not, here it comes, October 2nd. Whether we like it or not, it's ending. Some people are excited for it to end. Some people are like, I can't believe it's ending. I want it to go on forever. Well, an extended 11th season. So basically, 12 seasons of a show is amazing. Most shows do not even get close to that, but I'm excited for the Rick and Michonne stuff more than anything. Like, let's end the main show, see what happens, but Rick, Michonne coming back, let's go. 2023 should be awesome. Six episodes. I'm excited to see where it goes, but a lot of shows 
the finales do not do it justice and they end pretty poorly. More shows do that than actually end in a great way. But let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.